Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Just want to uh, bring Iran into the spotlight here for a minute. We got all this mayhem going on, and most of us know that we'll probably attack Iran. This morning I came across a uh, post that I'll link you to if you want to read it. I don't know if it's propaganda or what it is. It seems believable, but then anything's possible. Headline reads, War on Iran, U.S. launches new computer virus, weapon of mass destruction. So I thought maybe, you know, I'd just give my view on this whole thing. Now I'm going to go back, uh, I don't know, just over four years ago, I guess it was, when I first turned on a computer for the first time. Um, got on Twitter shortly after the Iran election era was going on where there were so many advocates uh, trying to help the people of Iran. They were being slaughtered. And uh, President Obama actually asked Twitter to stay online. They were due to shut down for maintenance and he requested that they stay online because it was one of the only ways that information was getting out. So now here we are trying to control Iran, teaming with Israel and others, uh, telling Iran what they can do in their own country. You can't have nukes. We'll do whatever the hell we want over here. We'll nuke the shit out of everybody. But you, you may not do as we do. We have no right. Americans need to fucking wake up. Okay? To hell with you, Justin Bieber. To hell with your whatever's on the top 40. People, this government that we have is not only draining us dry and distracting us with all sorts of program. They have just authorized a propaganda campaign. We knew they were doing it anyway. Now they've made it official. We're going around the globe in our name, my name, your name, killing people and controlling people. We have no right. We're controlling the weather, the food, everything. And this nation is going to pay hell and I want to speak to you Christians for a minute. You need to change your way of thinking as well. I know the Bible pretty well, and I know that it's been twisted by man uh, in some ways, and I know it holds some truths. And one of those truths, the, the, the very person that you put on a pedestal and pray to daily told you not to pray in his name. It was Paul or who the hell ever it was, a man. Now, if you believe that Jesus was the Son of God and equal to God, and he told you not to pray in his name, why the hell are you doing it? You've been deceived as well. It does say in there, even the elect will be deceived. The meek and the poor shall inherit the earth. Those aren't words twisted by man. Many of the other ones are, but those are not twisted by man. If you can't see it coming, you're a moron come out of her. If you're a true, what I believe to be a true American, who doesn't harm anyone, who pulls together, lets everybody live independently, working in unison, taking care of their own, and giving the surplus to those that need it, then stand up. Don't even vote in this election. Are, are you morons? Look what your choices are, Obama or Romney. And you think you're in a free country. You've been given two choices. And for you idiots that want to say, oh, well, that's the way the system works, and that's what we the people wanted. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And let me remind you that those votes that you cast, you can't even prove if they were counted or who they were counted for. This country is way out of line way out of line. And if our economy doesn't crash because of our actions and our separation, then you're going to bet that one of these countries that we insist on controlling and bullying is going to stand up and kick our ass. I saw a few years ago a report that a terrorist could simply drive through a city with a device hooked to his tailpipe spreading any sort of virus or anthrax or otherwise in a matter of 30 minutes or less kill Tens of thousands of people never be seen. 
Look around you. Every car is a possible terrorist. That's what they want you to believe. But see, if you were really a terrorist and you really wanted to kill Americans, you would do it. Your identity would never be seen. Never. Think about it. Don't vote at all in this election. Write in your candidate, whoever you think is best. Write it in. Don't take part in the electronic voting. I, I'm just, I just wouldn't vote at all. You can't take part in a system that is this broken. Or you're guilty of promoting it. You're guilty of the blood that Obama is shedding all over the globe. You're guilty of the imprisonment of sovereign nations. You're guilty of a lot more than that as well. It's time to start thinking about it. Wake the fuck up.